Tom, you've been at the club for three months now. A great opportunity to catch up. But first of all, before we do look at TNS, let's go back into your past. You started at Bradford City and that was the club that you supported as a boy. So that must have been a real honour and privilege to join their academy. Oh yeah, that was that was the first ever team um, I played for, and obviously it's a team I, I still support today. So no, it was um, really like proud moment to play for them when I was young. But <clears throat> football moves fast, and um, a lot of things changed, and I've been at various clubs and that. But um, no, Bradford's still my team. At what age did you realise that you were going to be a professional footballer? What was it while you were at Bradford City? No. Never like that. When you're young, you just play for fun. You just play because you enjoy it, and you know you're with your friends and that. And you never really think about where it could go. I mean, when you get to 15, 16, and, and they offer you, I got offered a scholarship at Man City. That was when you start thinking, you know, maybe I could do this as a um, as a job and make money out of it for the for the um, for the rest of your life. That's obviously the aim. So it wasn't until I was about 15, 16 where where you really start thinking about those things. And at Manchester City, as you say, prior to that, at Leeds United. And then before joining TNS, you did make your way into Wales at Swansea City. Good experience for you along your journey so far. Yeah, Swansea was, was, a, was, a, uh, it was a good team for me. I, I enjoyed it there. I was there for two years. Um, never, never really managed to get anywhere near the first team rating there. But we... we um, we played in the Checker Trade Trophy. That's against in the League One, League Two teams in England, and I had I had five games in that. So that was a good experience. Um, but no, I really enjoyed it there. Teams like Swansea and Man City. It's it, um, both good teams that play good football, and you know, I, I followed that in coming to TNS. So you know there wasn't much much of a difference in style of play. So it so it set it, um, it set me up well for, uh, for coming to TNS. And that brings us to the New Saints. How did you feel when TNS were interested in you? No, I was happy because um, it was it was it was early June, obviously, because they come back for pre-season. But come here for a few days, trained um, for a few days, and then obviously I had a chat with Scotty, and um, he wanted me to to stay for the year. So no, I was really happy about that. Uh, it was just about the time when they were in the Champions League games, and that was something really exciting to be involved in I've never been involved in anything like that before so no that was good and um, yeah I'm really enjoying it so far and your first adventure with TNS was actually north of the English border on a pre-Champions League camp when we played Rangers and St Johnston that was a great opportunity to get to know the lads yeah that was just we were there for a week or so but it was just about fitting in and Getting to know the lads, um, we played two good, two uh, good teams. We played St Johnston and Rangers, and you know top teams and that there, uh, good teams, and uh, that sets you up really well for playing in this league because they're better, they're probably they're that higher calibre caliber probably compared to the, what um, you're normally facing week out. So it just uh, prepares you well. And it was an opportunity not just to play football, but also to get some social time in. A lot of the lads took golf clubs. Tom, what do you do away from football? Yeah, I'm not really into golf. I played a bit, but um, I think it's something you've got to practice a lot. And I don't, I don't really play too much of it. Um, and uh, box sets, things like that. Um, don't really play too much computer games, but just relax and um, watch a bit of TV and that. So no, not golf. And what about your musical tastes? Musical taste, a bit of everything really. I like come a bit of Marvin Gaye, um, a bit of Drake. He's all right, and then can switch it up to a bit of Kasabian or um, Catfish out of what they call Catfish in the Bottom, and that's my new. I like them at the moment. They're quite new, so yeah, a bit of everything really. Um, not just one genre. Well, I'll certainly go with the Marvin Gaye myself. Mm -hmm. Then following the trip to Scotland. It was Champions League and making the bench, of course, for the early games, finally coming on as a substitute. How did that feel, playing in the Champions League? Yeah, that was, that was a great feeling because obviously it was, just, it was my first appearance for TNS and then to make it in the Champions League against uh, Ruzica with It was a good atmosphere that day. They had a few hundred fans coming, so 
obviously it was disappointment that disappointing that we um, we lost. I think it was five one in the end, but great to make my debut in front of a a good crowd, and no, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And since then, you've cemented a starting place in the TNS lineup, and that's no mean feat. It's a very difficult team to get into. No, it was. Uh, I, had, I had to wait for a chance to to um, to get um, to get a start, and for me, the, I knew how difficult it was coming here. There's a lot of good players, a lot of good midfielders. So just for me, it's about this season, about playing as many games as possible. So. I think I've played about eight eight games so far, but now it's just about having that consistency and trying to do that for the whole year and stay in the team and performing week in, week out. We've mentioned your previous clubs and you've played there at various levels. How does the Welsh Premier League compare to some of the competitions that you've played in prior to joining TNS? It's, it's a different one because I've played at Swansea 23s and you know, 23 football is notorious for being very tippy tappy and you know you don't get people don't put in many tackles and it's like a basketball game you'll play or will play but um but what I've I've learned I think I've improved this year is um, playing against different styles you know you're coming into a lot of more direct teams in the Welsh league and for me it's about competing more and winning them second balls but also when we've got the ball playing with it and because uh, that's something that TNS are notorious for doing so in that respect it hasn't changed too much the way we play but definitely playing against more direct teams this season and um, more physical teams has, has helped me improve. And we're chatting right now in our hotel room in Carmarthenshire because tomorrow afternoon as we talk of course TNS take on Carmarthen Town. They've only won one game so far this season. Complacency, Tom, is that an issue for footballers in general or is that not a word in your vocabulary? Yeah, for us, that's something that um, we need to we need to make sure we don't allow in, into our team. You know, we've got to make sure we start where we compete and and then when we've got the ball to um, to express ourselves and, do, and play how we normally do, you know, it's going to be a hard game there. Very well organised and they'll, they'll press and not give you much room. So for us, it's just about having the right, going into the game with the right um, mental attitude and, and performing, moving the ball quick, doing all the things we've done in um, the past games and uh, hopefully, hopefully get the win. Tom Holland, thank you for your time this evening. All the very best, not just for the game tomorrow, but for the rest of the season. Cheers, thank you very much.